Arturo's Precaso here. So we've had several emails of people requesting how to create an eye. Uh, I'm not too pleased with some of the eyes that I've seen out there. So I'm going to make this super easy tutorial. I'm going to call it Ojo. Translates to eye. And I'm going to show you a way of creating the eye a little bit more realistic. And yet I'm going to keep it simple. Let's begin working on the iris of the eye. Okay. Now kind of like the tutorial how to create a planet it's if you haven't seen it go ahead and take a look at it we're gonna use the same technique here I'm gonna use different colors a little bit of green orange red uh, not something you'd see on a normal eye we'll add a little bit of brown just to make it a little more realistic <laughs> little bit of yellow here on the bottom I like my colorful eyes as you can tell <laughs> We're going to go ahead and use the same technique as I told you earlier. So we're going to go ahead and put some white. And then we're going to begin mixing the colors together with the Spray Castle tool. So we're going to go up and mix those colors pretty good. Nice. Here we get into the red. It's a little weird. But nonetheless, it'll add that extra touch to your painting. Okay, Let's take a look at the detail that you're going to get. Awesome. Now you're going to want to do this all the way around. You don't have to stay perfectly within a circle. And with a little bit of black, we're just going to go ahead and spray the center of it. And see, we just went ahead and covered it with the bowl or a, or a stencil of a sort. Went ahead and covered the extra edges with some white. I'm going to add some shadow to the eye. Kind of like what, how we would do our planets. Okay bigger bowl. I'm going to go ahead and place that there. I'm going to add some color surrounding the eye, uh, like a space nebula or a mist. Alright, add a little bit of black. Let's create some terrain on this painting. Okay, hopefully you get some ideas out of this. I'm going to go ahead and use a little bit of orange, some green, these are bright colors uh, and when you cover them with black they come out pretty bright I'll show you now we're gonna get a magazine sheet we're gonna tear off a piece okay and we're gonna create our terrain and all we're doing here is we're just mixing the paint removing some of that black see that so you guys might want to experiment with this get some cool terrains in your paintings alright we'll do something like this maybe we'll add a grid I don't know use your imagination let's add some stars okay we'll remove the bowl and let's see what it looks like well there you go folks I hope you guys have got some new ideas. Uh, if you guys want to send me an email, leave some comments. I always check them. Alright, well, hope you guys had a good time. Until next time, folks.